What's up guys, hope you're having a good day. So uh, I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with a rapper named Matt Ox. He's from Philadelphia, he's a, a young white kid. I think he's actually an adult now, I think he's 18 now. Uh, but he came out when he was like 12 uh, with the little fidget spinners and he was doing like that, uh, I forgot what the, he had like a song called Michael Myers and another song that went crazy. Not crazy, but it got millions of views on YouTube. But anyway, uh, the point of this video is, is Playboy Cardi jacking Matt Ox's style and sound? Um, Cause if, like, if you listen to a whole lot of Red, it kind of sounds like Matt Ox's debut album that he dropped five years ago. It, it actually came out before a whole lot of Red. And I'm just now putting these pieces together. That's why I'm just not making this video. But basically, if you look at the Matt Ox album, the credits, one of the main producers on that album is Filthy. Now, prior to Whole Lot of Red, Playboy Cardi had mostly only worked with Pierre Bourne. He had never had an album with a beat produced by Filthy. And if you look at Whole Lot of Red, almost every song is produced by Filthy. Now, I mean, over half. Over half of the album is produced by Filthy. And if you listen to the Mad Ox album that came out two years before, the Playboy Cardi album, it kind of has some similar sound to it. Even though Matt Ox was like 15 at the time, or maybe like 14, there's a lot of similarities there. And it's funny too, uh, there's a Pitchfork review of the Matt Ox, Matt Ox album where they accuse him of biting Playboy Cardi style. But I kind of feel like it might be a little bit of reverse of that. Now, I think if... Matt Ox was like, if he would have dropped that album now, because that, that sound, if you listen to that album, it sounds a lot more like the recent stuff that's coming out now with like Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, all that kind of stuff. It sounds, and if you listen to Matt Ox's stuff, his stuff sounds a lot like theirs, but he's been doing it longer than them. I mean, this dude's been, I mean, look at, listen to the Matt Ox album. It came out back in 2018. That was what, five years ago? So it's just, it's crazy, and all, all his new stuff on his YouTube channel, he drops a video he, a video like every week. Dude's got a bunch of songs out, and it all has that, that sound that whole lot of Red had. But it's really arguable if, if Playboy Cardi kind of jocked or jacked uh, Maddox's style. And actually, there's a video out somewhere. I don't know where the video is. I'm not going to link it or anything, but you can probably search it and find it. There's actually a video from a few years ago. Actually, I think it came out before whole lot of Red came out where uh, Playboy Cardi was listening to Maddox. So they're definitely aware of each other. And that's, I mean, that's kind of crazy that, you know, he started using the producer that Maddox used. And also, if you guys remember, when Whole Lot Red first came out, even Playboy Cardi was like, oh, this sucks, this is trash, blah, 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 blah. And like now they're saying, oh, it's the best album of all time. So like, that wasn't Playboy Cardi's original sound at all. That album does not sound like Die Lit in any way, shape or form. So you gotta wonder, like people take inspiration from all kinds of different people. It kind of sounds to me like he jacked Mad Ox and took a lot of inspiration from Mad Ox. Now, by me saying that, does that mean that that's a bad thing? I don't think so. I don't think so. And let me say this right now. This isn't the video topic, but let me say this right now. Mad Ox makes better music than Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson. Out of everybody doing this raid sound, uh, Maddox is, is is basically, it's Playboy Cardi Maddox, and honestly, shout out to my, my boy uh, Kid, Bu Kid Boo, his shit's fire too. Uh, but but outside of them, like, uh, these guys suck. Uh, homo side gang, uh, yeah, I said homo side gang. Uh, I'm gonna do a video on them, those jokers too, so terrible trash guys terrible music um but anyway yeah this is what playboy cardi should do because even though maddox kind of started that style he should sign maddox because i guarantee you maddox will blow up way more on opium than uh than these other guys oh and also shout out to gabe gabe is also associated associated with opium and he dropped an album that had like rage type of beats but it was a little smoother and like a little like better in my opinion like he dropped an album two years ago um, that was also had a filthy beat on there. Phenomenal album, phenomenal. Probably the best album I've heard in, in this in that particular world. 
So uh, I don't know if he signed Opium, but he produced, produced on a whole lot of red. Fire. Fire. But anyway, yeah, Playboy Cardi kind of jacked Maddox. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe he should look into signing him to Opium. Talk to you guys later.